terrible about it. Um, really? More like not in my living room? Yeah. Just throw outside and I feel place. okay being out here today. Did you yeah, medicate? I know, but Welcome to Assholes and Americanos. We are on the road today. We didn't have to go too far. We went up to Burrard. Yes, we went to Burrard. Burrard. We're sitting in uh, Musette, which in French, I believe, means museum. It's not a cycling museum, though. It's actually oh. a coffee shop where yeah. cyclists like to frequent. Listen, so, I want us to do this right today, okay? Okay. I want you to right. get, you, get your face right in the Americano. Is my bald spot showing? It smells a little like a, a wet animal. A wet animal? Like a wet dog. Just don't cover your bald spot. You gotta take a loud one, too. No. You, don't. I'm gonna take a loud one. Charles, you ruined my step with your the challenge here is what kind of shape forms in the back of your mouth when you do that. And I feel like for me, it's kind of a horseshoe shape. I can kind of feel it climbing the side. I can, I can kind of feel it climbing the sides and I can feel it like it stops right about there. I'm gonna do one more just to confirm that. <laughs> okay, all right, we get it. John. Oh, I felt that. That horseshoe shape is very satisfying. I feel like this is just a little bit sour. It's, it's just like the right amount of bitter, mm -hmm. I would say. And I do, and I think um, I'm also, the coffee is also being affected by the fact that we're sitting here drinking it out of cups of yeah, saucers. It's, it's easy to get seduced by that, it is, right? There's for a lot sure. more going on than just sitting in your house having a coffee. Yeah. Yeah, and I, but I feel like this is the way you, you need to taste these things. You need, in order to get a proper horseshoe shape, which is what I have right now, you need to be actually in the shop where the where the beverage came from, and that's where we are. Um, I'm, I'm seduced by everything around us, by the, the people in here, by yeah. the, the energy, uh, by the bikes that are hanging on the walls. There are some good-looking people in here. Some, no, just us, mostly. Okay. <laughs> we should have something sweet with us? We will. I mean, I don't... What do you mean we will? I'm well, going to finish the coffee. They have some other they have sweet things over there. We'll maybe try one later. Later. This is really, I think, one of the best Americanos in Vancouver. Okay. Without a doubt. It uh, is. Really? I'm having a great time. I don't know. I no, wish. I'm having Can a great time. Can you try to have fun? I feel like you do, though, and you've done this in the past, you get seduced by places. That's... <laughs> you get seduced sure. by places, and it affects the taste of the coffee. It does. I'm sorry. Like, so, I, that's... I'm having an experience. And no, that's great. I just great. would like to have it along. This place is seducing me in its own eclectic way, okay. for sure. You're and I seduced. do. I'm seduced. Yes, and I also think that holding a, a cup of coffee, like a real mug of coffee, when you sit in a coffee shop, is something special too. Like you're not taking it you you're not running. Your hand? You're not running around. Yeah, it's nice. It's really yeah, it nice. Is. I don't have to feel so. When I have that to-go cup, I feel like I have to do things. I'm going out. I'm doing things like by yeah. myself, myself. But here is like right. you're taking a moment and you're breathing and you're talking to your friend. Because I, I feel like we're friends today. So well, today's not so much. But today, I think today's one of our better days. I'm gonna give it a score that's way too high. Don't. It's a nine. A nine out of ten. Horseshoe shape. Well done, Musette. I think it's an eight for me. This is a solid eight cup of coffee. You're such a hard And a solid eight experience. Can we eat dessert? Yeah. Look at how yours, because you got, because we got mistos, we got mistos, but I like almond milk in my miso, which is a bit thicker, and you just have like a regular misto. So miso is when you have warm milk um, with your coffee. So it's like a latte, but not as much milk as a latte, mm -hmm. which I'm just a huge fan of. Why do you prefer this other kind of milk? Almond What's milk? wrong with regular milk? Okay, because dairy makes me a little gassy. Can I use this as my pointer? Yeah, sure. Okay, now what's this one? That is a pistachio. Don't! Rose water, cardamom, pistachio cake. Ooh, that sounds complicated. I know. There's too many things in there. I know, so when it's too complicated, it might be a problem. But we will find out, my There's friend. that one. What about this one? And then that's one? a salty chocolate chip cookie, which I hate. Before we dive into that, I feel like we should sip our miso first. Because I love the anticipation of biting into dessert, like my mother getting Did you watery, your thinking about it. Did you cleanse it? No, I didn't cleanse it from the last well, coffee. I cleanse mine. What? You don't do that when you're at a coffee shop and you get another coffee and you have to cleanse your mouth from, from, from that coffee. You do, if you no. take your job seriously, which I do. Anyway. Oh, man. 
Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. I think we just need a minute alone. Let's get into this. I'm yeah, really excited about this. But what are we going to start? You're going to start with that? Yeah, of course we are. I know you wanted to argue about it for a minute, but I let's did. just make a decision. Okay. There you go. You, you take the, the big one. one. You can have the bigger one. <laughs> you were going to say no. Wait, we're going to supposed to eat it together. I can't wait for you. Oh my God, honestly. Okay. This is apparently oh the God. best selling dessert here at Musette. Oh Everyone God. eats these chocolate chip cookies, and now I understand why. This is unreal. This is so good. It's a little too much salt, though. No, it's perfect. I'm, I'm going to do something here. This is what it, because we are fika right now. Are you going to barf? You burp? No. I'm going to dip. Oh. I wish you would stop using fika. Why? I love it. Because it sounds like fecal. That's poop. I'm almost scared of, like, Finishing this and then having that, not liking that as well, much as I like Don't eat all of it, okay? Then you don't eat all of it. I'm not. I'm just gonna have one more bite. So good. That's really you didn't interesting. Even dip. You didn't even dip. I'm not a big fan of the dipping. You're the dipper. Ugh. You keep cutting one side bigger than the other. <laughs> I feel like it's Cheers gonna. This one. And let's smell it. Let's smell it. Cause you can smell the rose water. Oh, you really can. Rose water is something that you know. It's like old lady perfume. It's used on my face, so. You use rose water on your face? Yeah, when I get my eyebrows threaded, they put rose water on my face. That's Marissa's fact of the day. Yeah. Mm. You know what? I'm a big fan of the frosting. Bam, you could put frosting on anything. Mm -hmm. And I would be into it. Mm. You hear that, ladies? <laughs> I just like the presentation of this. I feel like if I were to bring my mother to this coffee shop, mm. she'd be a little put off by all the biking stuff around. She wouldn't Why would understand. that put her off, though? Well, she's not a sports lady. Tina. I know. So she would come in here and look around and not understand, you know, why I bought bread or something. She'd want something fancier, I think. But if you sit her down, serve her a cup of coffee in this lovely mug and saucer, and then present the cardamom and rose water. What would she say? She'd be delighted. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you that I'm delighted. And I don't think that it's just the caffeine, although it might be, because... This is our second cup now. Yeah, we're all jacked up. I'm totally jacked. I'm yeah. totally jacked. I'm going to we'll finish this. I want to eat this whole thing. Yeah, okay, sure. But what is this? You have something in front. You well, have a Georgia straight. Why? Well, it's not time to show. Oh. When I have to, uh, actually, I'm all full of cardamom right now. <laughs> so I'm going to read to you from the uh, adult section at the back. Oh, the adult section. No, not oh. that section. Not the one you read. Okay. The, it celebrates. Yeah. This is all we have. This is like the Village Voice of Vancouver. Um, What's the Village Voice? The Village Voice is the free newspaper in New York. It used to be free. I don't mm. know if it's free anymore. It's from New York. It's from New York. That's right. Very sophisticated. Uh, I like the I Saw You section at the very back of yeah. the uh, magazine because this is basically people who have seen other people around the city uh -huh. and they wanted to reach out and connect with them. Mm -hmm. And so what they did is they post an, an ad on here for these strangers, hoping that the strangers read this yeah, yeah. and respond. Mm -hmm. I've never posted one of these. I know you have. But, okay, um, let's be honest with everybody. I have not posted one ever, <laughs> and you have. Also, All right, well, ladies, listen. he would like you to write him one. Anybody out there, he would like to sit down on the can one time and look at this thing and see when that's for him. Moving right along, a man who uh, saw a woman on October 17th at okay. Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle. And uh, the title of it is At Chipotle on Saturday Night. You were observing me and my friend having dinner at Chipotle's and asked if we were on a date. I said, no, we are just friends, which is the truth. I kept looking at you because I thought you were cute. Mm. Why didn't you ask me out, smiley face? Oh. <laughs> See this? Oh, what do you got? okay, purple shoelaces. Okay. Oh, there's so many to choose from, though. Okay, I'll do purple shoelaces. Dear, oh, this is I Saw a Man, I'm a Woman. Okay, so this is a lady reaching out. Good yeah. for you, lady. Yeah. Okay. Dear adorable guy with purple shoelaces, we ran into each other on Friday, October 16th on 4 p.m. I was dressed in purple. You were in a black kitchen uniform. You complimented my purple hair, and we bonded over our shared love of the best color ever. 
purple. So he had purple shoelaces and she had purple hair. Move on. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was in a rush for the bus and didn't have time to have a proper conversation. My hugest apology. If you're interested, I believe we should go for a drink sometime and see if we also share anything else in common. I'd also love to see your tattoo closer up. Oh my god, that one was gross. You like tall, attractive brunettes, though. It doesn't say she's attractive. Oh, it does. Tall, very attractive You'll brunette. You like too. Like, what? I, I wouldn't like narrow blondes. it down. I saw a man, I'm a woman. Oh. This could be you, this could be you. Hmm, you have salt and pepper hair, black rim glasses, and a gray t shirt, black jacket? That sounds like me. I was dressed in black, voyager scarf, also black trim glasses, curly hair, messily piled atop my head. I was trying to figure out how to say hi. I even considered sending over an espresso. The shooter of coffees, right? Wink, wink. Listen, yes. so we have some advice for you people out there. You don't want to let that moment slip by. You don't want to let that moment you pass you. Okay, so if you see a guy at a coffee shop like this, because it could happen to you, or if you see a girl at a coffee shop like this, don't be afraid. You just can just go, up, go up to them. Say, hello, I like your messily piled hair, the way it's piled on top, on top of your, your head. On top of your head. Or, you know what, I think your blue or purple shoelaces shoe are nice. And, and your purple hair is really and attractive. Thank you. And you know what, if you're not seeing anyone, I'd love to take you out to a cup of coffee, just like this, in a place just like this. And, or, you know what, are you busy now? Let me join you. And let's have a sip together. Oh my god, I love it when you're caffeinated. <laughs> the almond milk. And oh my god, this almond milk miso gets a friggin' 10. It is really? so good. Yeah. A little bit lower than my American. It's only a seven for me. What about the trees? Everyone's got a tree. These things, perfect tens. No. You gotta try them. They are really good. So if you're gonna come here and have this, you got a fika. 80% of my customers are non-cyclists here. So they, they, they come in here and they learn something new. They appreciate that. Um, and we don't discriminate at all. Concept and the customers here are very nice. We have the old school espresso from 49's Parallel Roasters in Burnaby and also the Benchmark espresso from Pallet Roasters in East Vancouver. I like, I like dressing up. All right. Okay. So we're outside now. We are outside, and which means cups to go. the magic of Musette should not influence my scores anymore. That's I was in very, the past. I was very seduced in there. You were very seduced, and you know what? I was too, and I'm hopped up on caffeine and sugar, yeah. and this is going to live so up irritable. to that now. Uh, but I think it's time that we taste our to-go cappuccinos. Another drink that I normally wouldn't get, but we wanted to try a different drink, different is, caffeinated beverage. This is a thing we like to do on the show. It's called taste and score. Mmm. Yeah. All right, it's good. Just not is not good. my favorite, and I loved everything in there. Less so out here. Yeah. So this is gonna get a, it's gonna get a six for me. What's wrong with you? It's okay. It's just six. okay. It's just okay. I miss the mugs inside. I miss the sauces. I miss the. Cups. Where did you park your witch broom? All right. What is it you over there? there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a 7.5. 7.5. Another taste right. and score. Another taste and score. Uh, but the overall experience, after you said, I thoroughly I enjoyed. That. Yeah, me too. Uh, so that's getting a 9. I really do feel like you should try this place out, even if you're not a cyclist of any kind. I'm not. If you're a coffee lover, you, you gotta come here. Musette, Thomas, thank you so much for hosting us. To you, coffee lovers. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Nice sign off. It sort of smells like, it smells like a tire iron. It's been in the trunk of my dad's car. 